Good evening, my name is uh, Giuseppe Loiano and uh, I'm part of the NetMinds team located in, uh, in Naples, in Italy. Uh, this evening I would like just to sketch a bit the idea that we have in mind, me and my colleagues in Naples, and the title is Back to History. So, the idea is, the problem is, many, uh, most of the time, uh, visiting sites or archaeological or, or artistic interest and museum, we use like traditional methods like maps, tour grids and applications. But this is sometimes really boring, especially for children, for young people. My experience, for example, last week I was in New York, I was visiting the Statue of Liberty, they give me a phone to listen about the, the, the story of the statue. At a given moment, I was bored because I had to push every time a specific button to know a specific part of the story. So that's the main problem. So how do we, what's the solution for this problem? We have identified that we can use uh, like new mobile devices. You can think to iPhone, iPad, to just Blackberry or other kind of smartphone and create a lifelike experience for the user. What do we mean by lifelike experience? We mean create an augmented reality environment where the user has its own augmented reality environment while he's visiting the, the, the cultural site. He's visiting the cultural site, he's identified in this environment by an avatar but we won't even care that the user is not only visiting the, the site just to, with the help of this device, but the user is a part of the story. What do we mean? That while he's visiting, we want that the user has to solve a specific case, like for example a murder, like for example, uh, I don't know, an, an, a story in the ancient period, in the Roman period, so that he's completely immersed in, uh, in the plot, in the story, and he can learn in an easy way. This is especially useful for children, because they do not like to go, for example, to the museum, see the uh, sculpture and all this stuff. And so playing a game while learning could be a good strategy to help education and children. So, what we propose is an innovative, lifelike experience, a total immersion concept. The user is not anymore a passive receiver, but is playing a game and it becomes part of the history. That's the first slide that we saw. The user is a fully interactive 3D uh, person, is identified in the world. The, the application is live social. What do we mean by live social? That, for example, there are many users inside the, uh, let's think, to the Louvre, and each one of the users can interact with another user that is visiting at the same time the environment. And then uh, we can even think that, for example, to carry on by the user this kind of device could be really boring and really, um, maybe they don't like, it's stressful. So we can think to use latest technology that is available in the market, like Google Class, to perform this kind of, uh, um, this kind of application. So the, the, the market is really wide. We have to think that between from Pompeii to Pyramids, we have millions of visitors every year. For every site, a specific story will be generated. Like, for example, for Pompeii, we can think to a story in the ancient period, while for the Louvre, we can think to a story um, closer to the reality, closer to the modernity, like the Da Vinci Code, where the user is supposed to solve like a, a murder in the, while he's visiting, and at the same time he's learning from the sculpture and the sites information to solve his case. So he's at the same time playing, learning, and so that he can uh, uh, reach his goal. So, uh, what we propose is a 3D, fully interactive, ludic and educational experience. The target market will be the tourists, the students and the educators. Sales of the, the revenue stream will come from the, uh, selling the application for mobile devices, like iPhone, iPad, Androids. And uh, even from the development of ad hoc application, especially for foundation, museum and cultural events that would like to have a similar approach for their visitors. 
So we expect uh, an, an income of $8 million of dollar with an EBIT of $5 million at year 3. The total investment will be of $3 million of dollars and we require $2.3 million of dollar at year 1st while $700,000 at year 2 and 3. The exit strategy will be to sell the company at year 3 to a strategic buyer. So this is the team made by all young, most of them are young people. Uh, everyone is uh, made by, the team is made by heterogeneous people. The, everyone with specific knowledge. We have even people closer to the university field, like for example Alberto Finzi is an assistant professor in, uh, in Italy. While, uh, for example, I, am, uh, I have a position actually at the University of Pennsylvania and I'm trying to, 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 to transfer, I'm a roboticist, to transfer the knowledge that I acquire on drones, like for example cameras, inertial sensor, to this kind of devices that have at the same time cameras, inertial sensor, so that we can estimate motion and we can perform new technologies. So uh, if the, pro the project has already been, we have started to reconstruct the environment, like the environment I can show you for just a quick video later, and we hope to hire more people if we get uh, sufficient uh, fundings. One minute. Yeah, that's the, the, my contact. I hope to speak to some of you later to just increase uh, the ideas and the possibility of, uh, of this market. Many times they say with culture we do not get money. I f we think that that's a way.